Hello everyone, this is Showtime 112. We're back in Korea, the date is September the 9th, 1951, and by this time the first official American jet ace had already been proclaimed. It was Captain James Jabara who achieved the status on 20th of May 1951, after which he was sent back to the USA with six kills to his credit. The next question was who would become the second American jet ace, and the two most likely candidates were Captain Richard Becker from the 334th Squadron and Captain Rolf Gibson from the 335th. On 2nd of September, Gibson scored his fourth kill to tie the score with Becker. Bad weather prevented flights until 9th of September, and that was the date when the question was finally resolved. 70 MiG-15s from four different regiments clashed with 22 F-86s. Both Becker and Gibson were among them. Becker was leading a flight of six Sabres over the MiG alley when he spotted about 30 MiGs above them. As the Sabres started to climb towards the MiGs, Becker noticed another formation of MiGs diving on them through the first formation. After a head-on pass, all the flights just broke in every direction. Becker reached 39,000 feet and realized he was alone, his wingman got lost somewhere. Then he spotted yet another formation of 12 MiG-15s a few thousand feet below him. Believing that the element of surprise was his strongest weapon, he decided to dive on the MiGs, which then broke in every direction.
Becker was able to shoot down one MiG, but there were still plenty around him. He kept maneuvering, shooting at every MiG he could and then quickly moving on. After a while, the MiGs were gone and so was most of his fuel. He managed to return to Kimpo Airfield and this victory made him officially the second American jet ace. His competitor Gibson scored his fifth kill only minutes later. After Soviet records were opened, American claims were compared with Soviet losses, and out of Jabera's six kills scored during his first combat tour, only four could be matched. On the other hand, five of the Becker's claims could be matched with Soviet losses. One probable was real, while uh, of one of the confirmed ones, the aircraft was only damaged. This would make Richard Becker the first American jet ace. Becker and Gibson were also sent to the USA immediately after their kills and their score remained 5 each. I hope you liked the video, be sure to press the like button if you did can also follow us on Instagram and Facebook and if you're able to you can support the channel on Patreon. There you can find exclusive content and depending on the tier, early access and an option to vote on future video topics. Subscribe if you haven't done so already and keep watching Showtime on too.